Please me on YouTube channel. Golly! It's a little chilly out here. McFlurry is ice cold, man. How's your oil pressure? All of it? Yep, 88. This ain't started right up. Yeah. Insane. Get dialed, dude. Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday at World Cup, so you know it's a big day. We got two qualifiers to go, and we have a lot of room to make up with McFlurry, as you guys already know. We went at 739. Goal for today is to go maybe a 7-1 or a 7-0. I don't know. We're gonna turn it up. We gotta see what the track is like, but we're gonna get Leroy and mull it out. You guys ready to see some runs? Yeah! Alright, hell yeah. Oh, you're dialed. Fire that rig up, brother. They like the heat. and pull the valve covers on this thing and make sure we don't have any broken valve springs or lash out of whack. Try to make sure we don't have any problems before we go. That's three for three. We're ready to rip. All right, so guys, we got mullet with the valve covers off. Zach's going through that. He actually found a broken inner valve spring on an intake valve over there, so we're putting on a backup. And then in the McFlurry department, we're gonna try and figure out how to bump this thing on the two-step because right now the issue is James has to pull into both beams and then start spooling, but the car doesn't spool fast enough to really get a good reaction time. So what we're gonna try and do is bump the Bruno for the first time. We got some information on how to do it. We're gonna just treat it like it's a Turbo 400, like what Mullet has. Hope it works. You think it's gonna work, Jackson? I hope it does. I hope it does. I need, I need to do it. Yeah, Good. hope it doesn't fry that Bruno. I think I will be all right. I think she'll be okay. I mean, it's not like we're really leaning on it yet. So what we're gonna do here is uh, get this table set up. We got the Haltech fellas over here helping us and then we'll try and bump it. Just don't end up in the side of the trailer, all right? We got Mullet's door right there. I should probably move that in case it really bumps. Hit it. Make sure you are approved, ready to go. Driver's on the pad, make sure you are approved, ready to go. Oh! Bang, bang! That sounds aggressive. You know what's supposed to sound right there. I'd make it smaller than that. That sounds rowdy. Hit it. So that's going to be a little bit less aggressive. It's like an AK-47, dude. <laughs> All right. That's pretty cool sounding, dude. What? Gun that Jimmy's mom gave us. Yeah, it does. It sounds just like that. That's good. 
good. We'll add some time to it. I'd rather not move than like leave. Really good. Heck yeah, Rick. Dang, we got a bumping Bruno, dude. That is a race car. You got a bumping Bruno, brother. <laughs> so, it's pretty cool. This is the line lock. Unless James has a trans brake push, then it's the bump. So, we got some trick stuff going on there. That's sweet, dude. You see that one? Yeah. Hell yeah. I know. All right, so last night we ran setting six what are we thinking today so i went ahead and moved six i copied up to eight yeah and then i made it at 1.6 55 on the dome oh yeah so versus 42 yeah so wow it's gonna for the first 1.2 hopefully you pick up same. a lot yeah and then right after that start rolling it in Too try easy, to go a little guys. bit faster try and add in that yeah. boost <laughs> last night it was cold cold yeah so the air's gonna be a little bit less i imagine it'll probably go 112 60 area a little bit slower Which is but good. Yeah, heat of the day should be good. Let's see what kind of boost we can make. Pour a little bit more. On we the really need like 190 some mile an hour. Yeah, we, yes. Because if you look at the sheet, I don't know. We're, uh, now What's all their mile an hour? Yeah, 207. Yeah, 190, 200. Yeah. And there's a couple guys down here that have been fast mile an hour. So if we're sitting at the bottom of the list, we need to get up to get in a little we could, safer spot. We could run a six if we could go like 190. Five or yeah. so. We just gotta be able to get the ET in the middle also. Yeah. So we gotta be able to go. If we can go 450 something to the eighth, we then we'll be six. able to go six. Cool. All right, here we go. First hit of the day in mullet. Obviously, we spun twice yesterday. So I turned it down so I can just have a moderate tune up and then we have that super fast tune up if we need it. We got the ballot for the change. Running perfect, so we should be good. Mullet's ready to do something cool, go down the track, make some power today, man. That's what we want. We want to make some power. All right, getting this unit gassed up. Ready to make a rip. She's looking good out here. We're coming up soon for qualifier number four and uh, hopefully go fast. Real, real fast. Real, real fast. All right, so guys, we changed up our strategy just now in the pits. The track is so much better than yesterday. Now I, I don't want to turn it down, so we put the tune back in it from yesterday where we spun twice. If it spins on this tune again, then you guys are allowed to call me an idiot, and uh, that's pretty much it. I'm just an idiot. So if it doesn't go down, I'm a big idiot. If it does go down, I'm just kind of an idiot. Because these last minute decisions usually only work about 30% of the time. But mullet, it's feeling sporty. We loosen up the front end. It's got a lot of boost in it. It might go real fast right here. the capability of this stock style four link suspension because we're just barely leaning on it more than the other day and it won't do it. Dude, it was this close. I know. It was this close to doing that run. If it did take that, dude, <sighs> it was going to be spicy. Going. It's not that our tire is a limiting factor. It's just that our suspension and weight is not capable of going faster than apparently what we did the other day at 423. Well, I mean, one thing that's kind of impressive to take away from this is that I spun the tires at the 60 foot, went 123, 60 foot, and still went a 445 at 183 in the eight. Wow, 
I didn't think that was possible. That's still getting in, hey. Wow. All right, Mullet. That was better than I thought you did, brother. Good job. Well, Mullet was pulling the most G's he's ever pulled right there, 2.53. So close to being a spicy rib. turned it down. <laughs> no, dude. I mean, I turned down this part. Oh, dang, if it just took that a little further. If it just made it past that little smith. Well, guys, we're overlaying data, and literally, we had the same launch as when we went to 635. So we just think the track is, is a little different now. And there's so many big slick cars in front of us. I think what we're gonna try and do is just add a little bit of weight to the back of Mullet because we have some weight we pulled off McFlurry. So if we put a little bit of weight right in the very back of the car, maybe that'll give us that little edge we need. It's so close to the hold the tire, yeah. Pass, it rolled out and it just barely struck yeah. the tire. So. so we'll try that out. What do you got going, Zach? I uh, yeah, just clean it up. Getting ready. Checked her over, added some Sucker's oil. dialed, dude. Clean, dude. Yeah. So up next, you got McFlurry, then Leroy. Hey, when you bump that thing in, boy, you better be ready. It could do something crazy. Yeah. But it looks pretty dang smooth it's, in the pits. Yeah, it tested great. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. I would just barely light the first bulb, so if it does do a big ka it doesn't put us out. Yeah. All right, McFlurry, headed down to the lanes. Oh, fire me up. All right, Jack, stay in. Time to let her eat, brother. Let's hope this bump works. Oh, I know, dude. Oh, boy. We're not going to be able to hear anything because we're racing a lower car. This is the first, first bump, bump in. First bump in, dude. I'm always nervous about this. Oh, yeah. fluid on the exhaust it looks like and it's on fire but they're putting me out we got some race cars coming no, I was pushing forward there right. oh. on top well I blew the oil cap off yeah we got a mess in our hands boys what happened dude I seen a lot of smoke my oil cap oh God. oh dude it's right there in the frame rail lots it, of plus uh, blew still out there and uh spray oil everywhere and then the oil because the pipes was hot yeah had to fire inside and outside the pipes yeah i see that okay so so it wasn't know. too bad then i mean we put it out Short with fire extinguishers you okay. know i stopped right at them so the guy could pull me out but uh not good not good gotta get cleaned up first to make sure nothing got burned wiring wise and then we're gonna have to do a bill of health on the motor and make sure it's not wounded. so oh uh, man dude. what a run 42 i think Oh, so it ain't going no faster. No. All right, Cleet getting suited up. Leroy out here looking like a million bucks. Got the flags flying. Are you ready, brother? 720. 720? I like it. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Well, McFlurry didn't pick up. Let's see if Leroy will go faster for us. Come on, low seven. That's a big burnout from Leroy. Getting the crowd fired up. Heck yeah. Leader ready to rip.
Oh, dude. Back in it, bud. That was cake work, baby. Oh, Let's man. go. Fire me up. <laughs> Shoot came out, but I still had fun. Woohoo! <laughs> New tire goofing, too. My parachute come out? No, it's hanging out on the taillights. That's a good spot for it. You know, Leroy's parachute success is uh, it's about 80%. You know, that's the best we can get for with these aerodynamics. Hell yeah, guys, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> nice, Great clean AV run. Dude. run right there, dude. Worst 710? 707. 707. That's even better than what I thought. You know why? Because I said 720, but I hit the scramble. <laughs> <laughs> I said, hey, nice. this thing's working right now. <laughs> dude, heck What's yeah. What was a mile dude. an hour about? 197? 202, I think. Uh. <laughs> All right, well. We're back, baby. Leroy's back. On the new tire. All right. Fresh slip. 114.60 foot. You know, we had to back her down a little bit. 311 to the 330. 465 at 159. Chilling. 707, 202. What I like here. What I like here, guys. A little 70. Now we just got to go to 689 tonight, and we'll be done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they're figuring out what's happening. Mullet had a day, McFlurry had a day, it's Leroy's day. You know I mean? <laughs> oh, okay. Everyone gets their day, dude. Old fire in the pipes, McGee over here. So Jackson lost his oil cap, and as you can see, the entire engine bay is coated in oil. Has some on fire. Did it burn anything? I'm looking at that now. Right so where was that sitting? Uh, when I got the hood off, the night after looking at it, it was sitting just like that. So it blew it over here. Must have like blown it right out. But the threads and everything are good, so it probably just didn't get tight, tight enough. Jim it loose. Man. That's... Could have been worse. Not good. <laughs> I mean, Jack, Tim, when I heard you're on fire, yeah. I was like, I thought he lit it on fire. Good. I thought he lit it on fire because <laughs> it went slow. No, I drove it right to the fire extinguishers. So, it slowed down to the 60 foot. Yeah. Like a whole 10. more than we thought it would. So, same tune up from last night where it went to 110. We expected it to be a little bit slower, but not that much. Yeah, if it had a 110, it would have been a low 730 or high 720. So, we'll, uh, we'll have to figure out why we lost so much there. But we're definitely oh, yeah. running out of turbo. Air, they made 34 pounds on that one. Oh, wow. The air is way worse now than it was last night. Yeah. So that's probably where I lost some of the 60 foot. But. So 34 pounds of boost and we only picked up two mile an hour. Two mile yeah. But we did lose a good chunk in the 60 foot here. But yeah. mile an hour wise, it should be more. All right. So uh, that probably uh, indicates uh, that we have a lot of back pressure. It means the engine is making a lot of heat because the turbos aren't letting the air through. So. We're probably at the point where adding more boost won't help us a ton. A ton yeah. But we know we're really rich on fuel. We're really conservative on timing. Yeah, so very rich on that. We can add an air fuel on actual air, air fuel there. It was way richer than it was supposed to be. Too, so. so yeah, we could probably get four mile an hour out of it with just timing and fuel and go 190, especially with the air. Yeah. I think we're going to go 190 tonight. Yeah. We just got to get the lead bar again. We'll be good. Yeah. James, you shifted earlier on that one? Yeah. Yeah, he took a shift at 8,500. So now we need to combine his shifting, his tuning, and fix the oil leak, and hopefully everything will come together. 
All right, Leroy. Dude, your clutch has been killing it, Leroy. Let's see what we got going under here. Dude, the clutch is chilling, huh? Oh, some heat on there. Oh, that's good, dude. That's but there's not heat. dust everywhere. No. I think we got our clutch tune so dialed now. Also, not a drop of oil on a star that I see. You missed it. Where? You had to say a drop. Oh, the one. <laughs> <laughs> one drop. <laughs> one drop of oil, okay. I don't no. see two drops of oil. I don't see two, but I see one. <laughs> All right, Mullet heading out for our last and final qualifier out here at World Cup. It's time to do something cool, otherwise we're gonna stay way down at the bottom of the ladder, and that is not where we wanna be. All right, Mullet getting warmed up, a little bit of heat in the motor, we're getting strapped in, we're coming up here quick. We got a little less than we had in Q1, just trying to get Mullet down the track and get a little more data. Well, this ain't gonna be faster than our Q1 run, but this should be the tune that we'll use when we know the track is a little cold. So hopefully this works, and then we have a backup plan. We'll see. Here we go, our last qualifier. Let's get this baby down the track. Let's get down the track on this one. closer and closer to the wall and then I got out of the groove and it spun thank you 112 60 foot slowed down a lot to the 330 but dude it was on a rip oh, dang it I think we loosened up the front end earlier and then it uh then it let the front end come up too fast and it was just wheeling I couldn't get it back down just notice our oil pressure is a little low Oh, brother! I had to go all the way out there, I get me know. fired up. We loosened up the front end earlier today. It didn't like that. I was trying to turn the wheel. I really wanted to turn it, but I could just feel they were off the ground. So the front left was just touching, tiptoeing, and then right when it started to nose down a little bit, it just spun the tire. So I don't know if I was so far out the groove to the right that I just got out of the good track, but I'm not 100% sure. That's just what I'm the data logger. But we do have low oil pressure. What? Yeah. How low? Pretty low. Pretty low. Like, uh, at idle? Hey. Let me check the, uh, let me check the pressure relief valve. Yeah, because I was thinking maybe something got jammed in it. That's happened before. So this is kind of odd. We had really great oil pressure during the run, like 115 PSI. I mean, for the most part, it's making around 100. And then when I spun and hit the rev limiter, it made 115 PSI. But then as I got down to idle, it's like 18 PSI. So maybe we got something lodged in that high pressure bypass. All right, well, Sam got her cleaned up. Sam's been cleaning away. Sam's been cleaning. Somebody said also, fingerprint. Been that <laughs> so Sam's been cleaning. I went ahead and drained the oil. You know, we lost oil. We don't have a dipstick. So I drained it, just refilled it. So we know it's got it's one of the oil, oil change. Yeah, pressure oil change. Let it fire it up, see how she sounds. Well, I hope it sounds oh, good. Yeah, no kidding. Scared me. What are you looking at? Here, let me tighten this cap for you. Yeah, there the you channel locks. Now you've heard of ice water bats. Yeah. This YouTube, oh man. Yeah. Everywhere.
Q5. It's old McFlurry. Put a tune up in her and trying to go uh, faster than we did the other night. We are still currently sitting 15th in the 16th car field. And there is a few guys that are not in. They can gather up what they got going on and make a rip here that is faster than ours. There's a chance that McFlurry will get bumped out of competition. It's showtime right now, guys. Our last and final qualifier. McFlurry's on his way up. Big moment right here. Big moment. One thing about it, she's looking good. Big old Oreo. I love it. Turbos. A little hard. That was the same dome as earlier, so the air is a little bit better. When I got I, it, know. I was like, dude, this track is good, so I put it on nine. I don't know what the 60 foot was, but it, it looked like it could looked take a like a rocket. Yeah. So we was, need to maybe, maybe we go a little more dome tomorrow, too. In the daytime, we're going to need a little bit more early. All right, so better than last pass, but still not as fast as the wind last night, short track wise. There only went 115 flat there. It went up 309 to the 330, 470 at 153 to the 8th, and it rolled out the back to a 727 at 190 mile an hour. We'll definitely take that in hopes that uh, we stay in the show. If this person goes faster than a 727, yeah. we're out. Yeah, oh, I'm pretty sure we're sitting all the We're out. Right that would suck. Oh, yeah! Damn, McFlurry's out, dude. Dang it. Oh, yeah. 716, Oh, no. We just got bumped out with McFlurry. Here's McFlurry. How'd she feel? Uh, she felt good. It was choochin', but only won a 727, which is better than the 39. But, yeah. Yeah, so we're out. I believe so. Yeah, we're out. Yeah, so that's But was it for a lack of trying? No, not at all. This thing is uh, still running, smoking like crazy, leaking still. But got to turn back around, went 190 mile an hour off the back. Well, there's no way I can top the drive up where the kid yelled, holy shit. That was one of the most epic clips I think I've ever gotten on the channel. But anyway, that was almost as good. That was almost as good. See, it's just magic happening out here, World Cup. But anyway, basically the same tune as before, but the air has gotten crazy. It's gotten so cold. It's gotten so much colder. So the car's gonna make more boost naturally. Plus, I hit the scramble button on the last run, so I put that on the tune. But other than that, it's the same. So, Dr. Tunamal is saying, dude, don't get crazy, because this air is like turning up the tune on its own. There we go. 792 at 171. CO2 on, so literally wasted a whole run, and uh, just so frustrating. We never do that. We never have that problem. 
super pissed, had a great track, great air, great tune, and I didn't turn the CO2 on. So I completely let everyone down. Can't let that happen again. That happens in eliminations, we're done, and I'm literally gonna cut my own arm off if I do that again. Anyway, that all being said, when I pulled up, I can't get the car in gear. It won't go into gear. Not because of the shifter, but because of the same issue we were having the other day. I do all my burnouts in second gear. It would not go into second gear. What you guys all know is that after we had the second gear issue at the track, we took the car back to the shop and second gear magically worked again, so we left it. Well, after I did the burnout in third gear, second gear was good again. So then I made the pass, which I wasted because I left the CO2 off. But now, I really think we should change it because I don't want to go out, you know, E1 and miss the one two shift. So, oh man, I'm just, I was sitting in the car like, what have I done? First, I made a bad decision to not already change transmission. Then I just was doodle bopping and left the freaking CO2 off. I was sitting in the car for five minutes, you know, while I'm waiting for them to clean something up, and I didn't think to check the CO2. I checked my parachutes, all that good stuff, made sure all my switches are on. I didn't twist the CO2 bottle, and that's just really pisses me off. So, all that being said, we gotta change transmission, Leroy. So let's forget about the frustration and get to it. In the other departments, Jackson, you've been bumped out of Street Fighter. Oh, straight out of there, dude. You so did not PB qualify. Car, you're done, dude. Still didn't qualify with our PB. Yeah, 27. That car, uh, that class has gotten fast. Yeah. That, that's way faster than it was. And Watch they you. all have dialed in combos. We yes. obviously don't. And the crazy <laughs> so. thing is, me and they were talking about it. There's coyote combos that run older street that are yeah. in that class. And they're only going teens. Like yeah, 7, we're 14, only a tenth off of them. So. We're only a tenth off, and this is our fifth pass. So yeah, yeah. Off, so. yeah, we did. I think we did pretty good. Yeah. Anyway, in the mullet department, we have the oil pump apart because we found a collapsed bypass spring. So that's yeah. actually good news. Yeah, I have an extra one. Yeah, we have <laughs> one. So Ty is polishing up the oil pump. We'll put that back together. Should be good to go. And then in the Leroy department, we're just doing a transmission swap. Yep. So. Really straightforward. All right, no big deal. Maintenance. Yeah, I mean, really, it's not broken. It's just there's a shift fork issue or yeah, something was, going yeah. on. So it's yeah, best yeah. to just change it and not worry about it. Oh, looky here, looky here. Track hog, baby. All right, guys, super random. We thought we were done racing for the day, but the guys at World Cup said we could run the track hog down the track one time. So we can see what it'll run. It's basically bone stock, but we got really good air. So we're like, hey, let us make a lick in it. They said, no problem. You gotta take full advantage of that good Walk air. over here though, and then it's a great track on. Yeah, it just turned gray, just like that, it. from blue to gray. As you guys know, every five bucks you spend on a hat like this, or a hoodie, or a t-shirt, whatever, on policemanfraud.com, every five bucks gets you an entry to win this track hawk in 20 grand cash. Let's see what it'll run down the quarter mile. Should I use the launch control or no? Oh man, I don't know. Sometimes it feels faster without it. I know. Dude. Or yeah. do a practice launch back there. What were we doing with the Durango? I, I didn't use it. Well, I only made one hit. I just couldn't figure it out. I don't think I was doing it right. Yeah, I, I know how to do it in this. It works. I mean, go I'm for it. Do it. Yeah, I'm yeah. Launch control. Launch control. There she is. Got that track hawk out here ready. What a rig. Dude. Let's go, dude. What a rig. <laughs> She's a rig. Dude, looks so good. Dude, dude get your practice launch in the burnout box. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a little squeal there. Five at 120. My wheel hop spun. It did, yeah. It still went 1165 at 120. Not too shabby. Isn't that crazy? I know, dude. She's ripping. I'd drive one. Better than a Ford. <laughs> bone stock vehicle do a four-wheel drive burnout on prep i mean track hawk rips dude scared i was gonna break it big track hawk guy dude, how'd i go in 11 6 not it's too shabby fun. i spun so bad i, I came completely off the throttle and then when i got back in it i think it had already upshifted 
Uh, 11.6 at 120. 187 60 foot. Yeah, it was moving. We should get some radials for this thing. <laughs> 100%. That would be better on it than wheel hopping. Oh, yeah. I mean, but I'm I'm pretty shocked by that. Did yeah. the Durango go that fast? Went 11.70. Ah. Uh, uh, I it's bone stock. Uh, uh, no, it wasn't. Uh, we can run it no, back. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, track talk reps. You guys know the deal. Every five bucks you spend on cleansforfun.com gets you an entry. Runs 11s now. Just wait till you see what it'll run when we're done with it. Let's go look at these ladders real quick. See where we qualified. Yeah, yeah. Big cool. moments. Big yeah. moments. Yeah. All right. Well, we got a mullet. She could probably print one for you. Yeah, we just gotta make another copy. Okay. Okay. So the guy running first round with mullet went a 626 at 218. All right, we got that. Let's go ahead and put that back. What do we end up qualifying? Uh, ninth. So that's not bad. We can handle that. Oh, yep, there I am. Lucky number 17. What if someone broke? There is always a chance. But well, then you'll the be ladder. racing the fastest guy. And everyone's still on the ladder. Sorry, bud. That's tough. That's a real tough break situation there. Ooh, number five out of 32, Leroy the Savage. Okay. Nice, dude. Dude. Same horsepower as a track hawk. 707. 702. <laughs> Damn, 214. All right, guys, looks like the only thing we got going for us is Leroy. We, uh, we're heavily outgunned with Mullet. Yeah. I mean, if we beat that guy, what do we go on to do? If we beat that guy, we race basically a five second car the next round. Yeah. So, Mullet's not looking good. He's really outgunned. If we win the first round by some miracle, we'll get kicked in the neck on the second round. But sometimes you just got to be more lucky than good. So, you, you could have a lucky day tomorrow That's with true. Mullet. That's true. And have been the finals. Leroy is our our golden star right now. We need Leroy to win tomorrow. We'll go out there tomorrow. Yeah. Just make it happen. Not make any stupid mistakes like we did today. Very smart. Yeah. That's it. it kills me to post the mistake we made today. Not having the CO2 bottle on. Like, that's... We've never done that, I don't yeah. think. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale Wolf Freaking. See you later. Oh, dude. Drag slash McFlurry? We got a baby McFlurry. Hey, dude. Oh! We got McFlurry out of here. Get a little burnout going. All right, McFlurry. Staged up. Oh! <laughs>